Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage my friend Philip Reese. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. How are we? Yeah. Good, good. Enjoying the weather? No, I think that might be my fault. Yeah. Well, a couple of reasons why. I was in the Bahamas. There's a storm. I've been to Dubai twice. It's rained twice. A couple of weeks ago in Ireland, a second heat wave. Unbelievable. And not the only strange thing that happened in Ireland. We were on the road, just got to the motorway, speed limit sign changed from 60 to 100. Underneath that sign, speed kills. I'm not sure if that was a challenge or not, but I might have hit a couple of people on my drive. And one of many holidays my wife and I like to go on. Um, so holidays and wives are probably the topic for the next four and a half minutes or so. <laughs> my wife, recently on a trip to Spain, woke up for a little afternoon siesta. She got one of those giant bags of crisps. You know the ones we can only get abroad, right? Or in Costco if you've got the card. She devoured that entire bag, did not offer me one single crisp. Now that's not reason to divorce, right? However, she looked me dead in the eye and went, that was the best 15 minutes of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I'm doing wrong. It does get worse. I say, you know, happy married once upon a time. Um, we were watching TV. We paused for a second. And we got one of those smart TVs. You know, the pictures come up. All the happy memories for your time together. A picture from 2014 comes up on the TV. My wife looks up. She went, I still look pretty good. I was like, yeah, yeah you do. <laughs> this time, she didn't even look in my direction. She went, you could do some Botox. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong, but that's not the point. And um, I have a little thing she likes to do. I think it might be to annoy you, but I'm not sure. When we're driving down the road, and a cyclist is just ahead of us, she'll turn and go, there's a cyclist up there. <laughs> but, I know, I can see. You're driving a bit close. I'm not. Her arm will go very steadily out the window. Right. If I can touch that cyclist on the bum, you're driving too close. How's <laughs> that for my benefit or the cyclist's safety? What do you think? <laughs> I'm not convinced. Um, so I've decided, I'm not sure this works, a bit like my comedy, I'm going to jazz things up between my wife and I. So in the bedroom, set the camera up in the corner. <laughs> Turns out my comedy career and my sex life are basically one and the same. Right? Normally finish before it should. Very little laughter. Absolutely no progression. Sad but true. Um, okay, it's not true. She hates that joke too. Um, right, you've all got smartphones, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever have a conversation and two days later the advert pops up? Yeah. Right, well. My phone, after listening to this comedy set a couple of times last week, popped up an advert for Bumble. <laughs> <laughs> We're not at that stage, but it's good to know that it's you know, on my side. <laughs> so when we're not travelling abroad, right, we, we thought we'd try something a bit different. Around the UK, A to Z of the places in the UK. Right, this is a little trip my wife and I are going to take. Every weekend or so we're going to go out. So we've done like Bournemouth, we've done Cambridge. Next week, Ducklington. Right. However, planning ahead a little bit, where on earth we go for Z? No idea, right? There's just nowhere in the UK. However, where we live in Slough, there's zebra crossing. <laughs> <laughs> this is not just any zebra crossing, this is the first zebra crossing in the UK. Painted on the floor, that's a true fact. Go on, check it out. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> I mean, don't go there, it's Slough. <laughs> Problem with zebra crossing, nowhere ever stops here. Right? Kids won't stop with zebra crossing. The police, blue lights or not, straight through the zebra crossing. Cyclists, they just keep heading straight through. Do you know why? Because my wife said, oh, I'm out the window. <laughs> straight down the road. Does explain why my wife's favourite place to have to go on holiday is Amsterdam. Cyclists everywhere. She loves it. Um, last time we went, we stumbled across a little shop called the Condomeria. Anyone heard of it? Yeah. 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 For the rest of you, a small little shop sells nothing but condoms. Different shapes, different sizes, different flavours. Crisp flavour condom. <laughs> <laughs> On the back of the packet, the best 15 minutes of your life. <laughs> One condom, man, stood out. A vegan condom. Now, before Connor steps up and uh, pushes me out of the way, I'll tell you about this vegan condom, or at least I'm going to ask you a question. 
can a vegan condom ever be 100% meat free? <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, you've been lovely, and I'm going to be